This is uh, version two. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Here it goes. Oh my gosh, oh. there it is! So I have had an amazing time helping to design the Porco Rosso plane, which I'm happy to say we've got a name for it now, the Sea Angel. Now, if you haven't checked out the video where I helped build that and we do our first prototype, check it out, there's gonna be a link below. And over the last several weeks, Josh Andrus and I have been working on version two and there's been a lot of design challenges with it, but for me, I love that kind of stuff. I love having creative challenges and seeing what we can do to meet all of the needs of a project. Josh and I started with uh, trying some different stuff on the fuselage nose to make it look a little more aesthetic and a little bit more like Porco Rosso's plane. Uh, and then we moved on to experimenting with the motor pod and getting the wing up off the fuselage. So what we tried first was a wooden box that would be laser cut. We decided to scrap that idea. It was a little too complicated, didn't look quite right, and decided to move past that. So after we did some trial and error with the fuselage design, Josh had the great idea to scale everything up by 10%. And what this gives us is a lighter wing loading, which means it's going to be more docile in the air and fly more scale, which is cool. And it also gives you the ability to put two different motor sizes on it, depending on what kind of characteristics you want. So either Power Pack B or Power Pack C. So that's really awesome. Andrews came in from the summer. Josh saw the incredible Edge 540s that Andrews had designed. And these things are gorgeous. He got Andrews started on helping out with the design to figure out what we can do with some of the complex curves that we have on this airplane so that number one it's easy to build but number two it also looks really cool and looks as close as possible to the Porco Rosso plane. An anime baseball bat. Nice there we go. So Andrus worked on this for a couple of weeks, but this week he's on vacation. And then I came in this morning to find this on the workbench with this note. He didn't get the pontoons done, so all he needs me to do is make some pontoons for the outside of the wings. But right now I have to get an edit done for you guys. So tomorrow I'm gonna come in, see if I have some time to start working on the floats. So I found this laying over there. I don't know if it was a prototype that he was working on for a pontoon or if it was to something else, but I'm gonna use that as an approximation on about the size. And there's a bunch of prototype Edge 540 landing gear over here too. So that has a nice shape to it as well. Josh is also out of the office uh, right now, so I figured when he comes back, we can see about mating it. Maidening, maiden, maiden, maidening it. Maidening it. And it looks like I have some converts to my blue finger protection. Huh? So let's get started. Well, this is really ugly. So this is a small motor prod. I'm wondering if we shrink that down. It might actually make a pretty decent design for an outer float. Nope. Okay, I think I'm actually going to go with the general shape of the wheel pant. It's simple and easy to build, but I think it'll work well. And I don't know, I think that looks cool. I like it. And voila! So obviously this isn't available in our store yet, but if you are interested in getting the speed build kit, you can go to the link below and we can notify you when it is available. So Josh is gonna be back in the office tomorrow. We'll get him to take it out and maiden it for us. See how it flies. This is uh, version two. Second flyable one, we're gonna be taking this to the water later on today, but first we gotta see if thrust angles and things are good. So that's nice, right there. You ready? So that is pretty cool. Now one thing I can feel for sure, the extra weight, we have the battery in the upper pod. Yeah. It is working as a three channel still but I can feel the torque of the motor having a lot more of an effect. Basically, when I change the throttle, it pivots. Yeah. It pivots the, the motor and I gotta kind of anticipate it. That being said, the fact that it is actually working the way it is, is pretty awesome. 
it's, it's virtually hands off. Look at that. Nice. And one good thing you can tell if it's thrust angle or your motor doing something, when you throttle back, look how it flies. And then when you give it throttle, look how it flies. If it has a characteristic that's only sensitive to throttle, you uh -huh. know that you got to address a thrust angle or an angle on something. Gotcha. But jeez, what a great flying airplane. Oh, I love What a work of art. Looks. Oh. <laughs> a little sink there. So, water test? Water test, yep. Oh, right. oh boy, oh. All right. Uh, any tips on putting it in the water? Nope, you stick it in the water and you just kind of, <laughs> just put it in a little bit, see if it, where it balances at. I love the way it sits, man. That's awesome. Oh my God. No turning back now. Dude, what is that? That's a snake. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude, there's a little snake. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. Here it goes. Oh, a little water in the little... prop. Up on the step fine. Oh my gosh, there it is! Oh, yes! <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. That looks fantastic. Man, this this plane, as pain in the butt as it's a design, it has no issues in the air. Even as a three channel. Look How, at that. How's the battery? It's, it's not bad. Sinking that battery lower definitely made a huge difference. Nice. So in the next version, would we do the battery that's for the motor down in the fuselage? Yeah, yeah, okay. we're gonna need to get creative with that because I think that's just a lot of weight. I mean, otherwise people are gonna have to put ballast in the nose. Yeah. But look at that. I mean, it looks like Porco Rosso coming in. We're gonna bring it in. Oh, that was a pretty ugly land. You've avoided it settled down nice. Yeah, you got it down. You gotta definitely pin that rudder up to get that nose up there. All right. So Jeremy, what do you think, man? This is kind of like your passion project. That I am nice. amazed at how well this has gone together. Now, with the digging in and getting water in the prop, is that normal or do we need to do a little bit of a redesign I on think, the nose? I think what we need to do is we need to get that step a little bit forward more. That'll and we're help. We need to angle this up. As you give throttle, it'll pitch down. So I think if we change the angle of this, even if it tips forward, it's still gonna have enough to get it back on its back. Yeah, well, I think the next version could be final production. I think you're right, I think you're right. You guys tell us what you would like us see do with the final version of the plane. Is there a challenge or something you want us to try? We want to do something really cool and memorable with this plane. So let us know in the comments below. The story about this plane is just as special as the plane itself. Yeah. And speaking of this, if you guys aren't familiar with flight tests, what we like to do is we like to design an airplane. We like to share the free plans. We also like to make speed build kits. This is going to be available as a speed build as well. Make sure you go down to the link below. You can actually be notified when this comes in stock. And as always, we do free plans and free build videos. If you want to see the final version of this, make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time. See you next time.